Hey everybody, we're going to do part two. And I wanted everybody to understand that in 1943, 20 million gardens raised 8 million tons of food. And that was in 1943. Could you imagine what we could do now? So I want to kind of walk you through some of the vegetables, the hows, the do's, the don'ts of what you can plant at this time of year. Did you realize that there's over 10,000 different varieties of tomato plants? There's over 5,000 different varieties of pepper plants. So if you want to talk a little bit about the different tomatoes, what we want to do is break them down. We're going to break them down into two groups. We're going to do some area. Actually, we're going to first, we're going to do three groups. We're going to do a determinate and an indeterminate plant. A determinate tomato plant is a bush tomato. You don't need any staking. Some people say all your tomatoes produce at once on a bush tomato. I kind of disagree. They're prolonged a little bit more, but not as um, over a long period of time as an indeterminate. All of these that I brought over here are indeterminate. They need support. They need cages. All the tomatoes that we planted up here in Lopez Canyon, they're indeterminate tomatoes. You're going to get a lot more varieties, a lot more different plants as an indeterminate tomato other than a determinate. Most of your growers will grow a determinate tomato because they don't need the support and they can uh, literally get their tomatoes out quick, get another crop in, and it's a lot easier. That being said, I want to talk a little bit about uh, um, heirlooms. An heirloom tomato is a tomato that's been planted over a seven year, year period, seed after seed after seed. And these seeds you can harvest and keep. That's why you're getting all the crazy varieties like this one is Juan Flame French. This one is Apricot Dream. You got your green zebras, you got your uh, brandy wines, all these different varieties of heirlooms. That's why you get over 10,000 varieties. The other thing is your hybrid tomatoes. The hybrid tomatoes are your old standbys like Better Boy, Early Girl, Better Bush, um, Big Boy. Uh, and then also my favorites this year, because I grew them last year and I thought they were fantastic, are your Japanese hybrids. And you have every variety of Japanese hybrids over here, along with another old standby hybrid that I like is the Sun Gold Cherry. Those are little tiny ones and they taste like candy. They're really, really good and very prolific. They're gonna grow like crazy. So understanding the different varieties, how many tomatoes there are, and what you can do is so important when it comes to planting your garden. Just remember, an indeterminate tomato is gonna to get big, it's gonna get uh, full, and if you don't have a lot of room, they're gonna be out of control. So I'm gonna get, go back in here also, and we're gonna talk about peppers. Again, peppers go crazy. They're not gonna get as big. This one is called the Escabiche, okay? Here's one of my favorites. The holy moly and then i also have a gypsy that i really like along with that i love the jalapenos jalapenos are about as hot as i get if you start at the top of the scale they got this thing called the scoville scale the top of the scale is going to be your grim reaper next you bring it down to a trinidad a ghost pepper then you're going to go down to different habaneros and then way down the scale about halfway is the jalapeno that's about as hot as i can get most of those extremely hot peppers are novelties. And uh, I don't know, for me, I, I can't handle it. If I, if I like it, a little bit of a tang, and after that, if it still lingers too long, it's not for me. So peppers are also going to need a lot warmer nights. So a lot of people in the last month have planted their peppers and they're asking me, Steve, why aren't they growing? What's going on? It's just not hot enough. Whereas a tomato, a good rule of thumb, is 70 70 so 70 in the day and 70 at night so you want to average it out so if you have 80 in the day and 60 at night you got your 70 70 that's when your tomatoes are really going to start to kick in and the same goes for the pepper tree pepper plants you need the warm warm nights peppers don't require as much of a root system or dirt to grow so you're not going to need to put as uh, or you can put more into these beds i would say you could probably put six pepper plants in these uh, two by four. I think they're two by four. Three by, what do you think those are? Three by six. 
I'm not sure. Anyhow, let's talk more about what else you can grow. As far as root crops, root vegetables, radishes, carrots, turnips, beets, all those can be grown year round, plant them by seed. I've also brought strawberries. Good time to plant strawberries. Look at these guys. We've got some really nice ones. Oops, I guess that didn't work. And in here I've got watermelon. Here's the sugar baby. That's my favorite. They get just a little bit bigger than your fist. Okay. Um, sugar baby, watermelons. Let's look down here. Zucchini. Remember, if you're going to plant zucchini, this takes a lot of space. Okay. I have uh, the tasty green cucumber. My favorite is the bush cucumber. The bush cucumber does not take any type of trellising or any kind of support, but it grows in a bush. You're going to get a little smaller cucumber out of it, but they're a lot easier to grow. There's also some new Japanese hybrid computers that I found that are really good. So other than that, what we want to do is we want to get our tomatoes planted. So part three is going to be how to plant. Mm -hmm.